Thanks for inviting us in. This has been a heartbreaking couple of days for the IPS community, mourning the death of a first grader killed in a crash right outside her school. But along with that loss comes a growing number of questions tonight. We're digging into the latest information from police about how this happened and the dangerous driving concerns among parents and community leaders in that area. But first at 11, we want to start with the emotional tribute to this young girl who lost her life. The memorial for Hannah Crutchfield continues to grow outside IPS School 57. The community came together to remember the little girl and in the crowd, the crossing guard who was also hit as he crossed the street with Hannah and her mother. His wife tells us he is a father of three and he's absolutely heartbroken about what happened. This little one was doing what she had done countless times before the unthinkable happened. It was the kind of gathering where parents pulled their kids a little closer acutely aware of how fleeting life can be. I definitely just wanted to grab my baby and squeeze her for sure. Brandy Ellinger was among the few hundred that gathered outside School 57 Wednesday night to mourn the loss of seven-year-old Hannah Crutchfield, hit and killed in this crosswalk outside the school Tuesday afternoon, just as school was letting out. My heart hurts for the family. I can't even imagine, you know, what they're feeling, what they're going through. You know, I, I can't imagine. I thought about my babies, you know, and how I would feel as a mother, and I just, my heart breaks for that mother. Hannah's mother and the school crossing guard were also hit after two cars collided in the intersection in front of the school at Washington Street and North Ritter Avenue. A day later, that crossing guard wearing a sling came with his family to remember Hannah. He had no words, but what felt like an entire community had words of support for him. Introduce Mike, uh, the traffic guard, who has kept all of our children so safe, and um, and we're very thankful that you're alive. Mike Sykes, a parent himself, stood among other parents and their children, all of them grieving together for a family. It just breaks my heart. Who's lost one of the lights and loves of their life. And tonight, police offered us a clearer idea of how this deadly crash unfolded. They believe the two cars were involved in some kind of disturbance on Washington Street. That's when one of the drivers collided with a third car at the intersection at Ritter. That's when Hannah Crutchfield, her mom, and a crossing guard were hit. Turns out this area is known in the Irvington community for dangerous driving. Parents and community leaders tell us they've had enough. I definitely have seen mothers grab their children for dear life and narrowly escaping what happened yesterday. No one is fearful uh, of, of driving down these streets and doing what they feel they want to. And that's something that we have to change. We have to change that mentality across the board. Local leaders are telling us they're in constant communication with IMPD and DPW about road safety, but they say It'll take a multi-part solution, including things like hiring more police officers for patrols and the use of traffic cameras that can track and ticket dangerous drivers. Now, in the wake of this tragedy, IPS has postponed its state of the district address and canceled classes at School 57. The school district also offering grief counseling for students today, but child experts recommend families continue that discussion at home. Tonight, our Logan Gay shares advice from parents on how to tackle these difficult conversations about loss. Experts say talking with your children after a traumatic experience is not always easy, but it's important to their development. It's vital for parents to be transparent and validate your child's emotions and experiences, while also reassuring them they are safe. After your conversation, keep a lookout for changes in behavior, like anxiety, chronic stomach aches and headaches, and trouble expressing their feelings. Kids go to school expecting an environment that's safe, and when that trust in that system of it being safe is broken, it can create a, a, a stressful reaction or, or a trauma reaction. We have more advice for you from a licensed specialist. Post it on our website, WTHR.com.